good morning welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com today i'm talking about sliding wing window example in wpf so uh, first of all add window in wpf the name of the window is sliding yeah uh, before uh, going to uh, design first of all um, learn windows dot resources the windows dot resources file in which we uh, in which we can create some styles and uh, animations so you can say uh, that's the type of the skin files mm, so here we create storyboard X dot key name of the storyboard is show menu, in which we define the uh, animation. And the second storyboard is created for the hide menu. So X dot key equals to hide menu. Yeah, that's fine. In the show menu, define the thickness animation. And the storyboard dot target property is margin okay uh, the margin from 2 to 2 that is minus 150 uh, it means to uh, sliding window is hi hide 150 from um, left to 2 is all are 0 0 0 and declaration ratio is point 0.8 and the duration is time so 0 0.0 0 colon 0 colon 1 is the time now the same property defined in the hide menu with acceleration ratio and the change the from to 2 Oops, getting error. Mm. Oops, getting error. All things are uh, right, but uh, the storyboard does not contain the same definitions like the thickness animations. So, remove this and uh, recreate it. The storyboard does not contain the same definitions. It's an error actually. So, uh, remove. created thickness animation oops it's not there so again type the thickness animation is not there so uh, design again storyboard with the key property that is hide menu so storyboard X dot key name key equals to hide menu. The same thing we just created previously. Here we can define the thickness animation. Storyboard dot target uh, property is also menu. Sorry, margin. And the uh, from to two it means in the hide menu. automatically in the display menu is collapsed from it means to zero 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 and two means minus five one five zero zero the left menu is sliding towards the negative position so acceleration ratio is same 
with the declaration ratio and the time is also same that is the duration now create the border with in the left side with stack panel and with the two button after the window dot resources in the grid uh, add a stack panel in the grid stack panel with the name property and orientation horizontal alignment and there are that some properties panel dot uh, index equals to 2 name of the panel is left menu orientation of the uh, stack panel is horizontal it means the panel is aligned horizontally height of the panel is 400 or uh, horizontally alignment is left and margin of the stack panel is negative 150 it means the border it means the uh, stack panel is aligned uh, like this uh, you can see in the design window when we assign the 1550 15000 it means that yeah that is you can see that the line is 150 minus 150 so in the stack panel add a border around the uh, left side that is uh, with the some properties that is border brush a lice blue border thickness is 1 width of the border is 1 50 and uh, uh, the background of the border is uh, also a lice blue that's fine in the border uh, you can see in the picture in the design window uh, around the uh, picture border is assigned with the stack panel so in the grid uh, we can take two Uh, controls that is button control the name of the button control is btn hide for the hide button so th in the first time the btn hide uh, visibility of the control is hidden so width of the button is 50 a new click event handler that is button hide click event content of the button is hide and the visibility of the control that is mm, visibility of the button control is hidden now the visibility of the control is hidden ok same add a another button that is show button the visibility is show so default is show and the content of the button is show name of the button is btn show your code the window size is incremented uh, using the window tag in XAML mm. okay the design phase uh, of the sliding window is completed now going to code part we 
before going to code part uh, change the event handler of the both button the first event handler is btn hide click and the second is btn show click so here is uh, here we have both event handlers btn hide click and btn show click both are called the same method which is designed inside the event handlers the name of the event handler a uh, the name of the method is menu slide in the btn hide click first of all pass the storyboard name that is show menu and the hide menu in the when we click on the hide button btn hide button then menu slide pass the storyboard which is directly located to the hide storyboard that is hide menu so copy this and pass it here menu slide both event handlers are called same method oops btn show method these are the name of the button that is btn hide btn show and left menu is the name of the panel so create a storyboard class 